Hey guys, welcome back to SimTech channel in this tutorial three on overhead line parameters calculation. In tutorial one and two, we saw how we calculated the resistance and the inductance of a transmission line. In this tutorial, we're going to look at how to calculate the capacitance of an overhead transmission line. So basically the problem statement is that the power system designer is planning to set up a 50 kilometer three phase transmission line using conductors with 20 millimeter diameter and spaced one meter apart so that basically the distance between the conductors as we've seen in the previous tutorial now the three questions that we need to deal with is that we need to calculate the per phase capacitance the line to line capacitance and the three phase capacitance with a symmetrical spacing of one meter between the line now, before we start solving this problem, let's first look at where these capacitance uh, that we're going to be solving here are coming from. Right now, as you can see here, we've got phase one, phase two, phase three, and we've got capacitance here and another capacitance. And there is also a capacitance here between the ground and the phase. Now, this one here is rather a small capacitance be because of the distance, right? The height where our conductors are actually situated, right? Now, assume this is our transmission line here. So we're going to have a capacitor here and another capacitor is also going to be here, right? These are our two capacitance, right? Between the line and between the line and the phase and the overall three phase capacitance. So what causes these capacitance? Now it's very simple, right? So in the overhead transmission line, basically these capacitance is simply the ability of this line here to store electric charge between the conductors as you can see but now the storing of this electric charge is caused by a few other factors one of which is the permeability of the free space that basically would be our dielectric here that will cause that capacitance and also the geometry of this line here right so that will uh, be the distance between these conductors now here on our problem we have been told that the distance is one meter apart right so that will be part of what will cause the capacitance as we'll understand that the closer they are the bigger your capacitance is also going to be because there will be a higher concentration of that electric field so in a nutshell these uh, capacitance arises due to the potential difference between uh, these conductors and the surrounding uh, environment which would basically form part of a weak uh, electric field now having said that capacitance is a key factor in the overall behavior of a transmission line affecting its charging current power loss voltage regulations and system stability as it is quite evident that these capacitance will play a very crucial role in long distance transmission line especially in high voltage transmission line as we're going to see when we start calculating the transmission line uh, calculations pi methods and so forth now let's go ahead and start solving our problem statement here based on the parameters given to us so now we understand that we've got the diameter of our conductors that is standing at 20 millimeters which means we're going to have a radius of 0 0.01 meter and the next parameter that we need to understand here is also the permeability of the free space right now remember when we talk about the dielectric of the capacitance right so the this capacitor here the dielectric material is basically the vacuum is air right so the free space so which means we need to make use of the permeability of the free space here so that we can get our calculation right great now the next parameter is obviously the length of the line is 50 kilometers and the spacing or the distance between the conductors is one meters right now the first question is the per phase capacitance okay now uh, before we continue please if you find this tutorial useful please make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to simtech channel that will be highly appreciated i thank you so very much now to calculate the per phase capacitance of a transmission line let's consider we've got phase a and phase b and we've got a neutral wire here so that basically means we're going to have a capacitor between a neutral and phase a and between neutral and phase b now if the distance between these uh, two phases and the neutral is basically equal space at one meter 
that basically mean the per phase capacitance must be this capacitor times 2 or this capacitance times 2. This is why this is given by the following formula. And here, D is the distance between the conductor and R is obviously our radius here. And once we know all our parameters, we can basically go ahead and calculate our per phase capacitance here. And that will be given as the C per phase is 1,21 times 10 to the power negative 11 farad per meter. But now, our problem here is to calculate the capacitance per phase for a 50 kilometer line. So which means we need to multiply this entire value here by 50,000 and that will basically give us the value of the capacitance per phase for a 50 kilometer line to be equal to 0 0.605 microfarad. That basically make more sense to us. Right now, let's go ahead and calculate the line to line capacitance to calculate a line to line capacitance it's very simple here because now consider that we've got our two conductors here phase a and phase b and this is our capacitance now we don't have a neutral line anymore so that basically means the capacitance is only this one capacitance here so what does this mean so we can basically just take the value of what we calculated on the per phase capacitance we divide it by two and that will just give us our line to line capacitance okay so that would just be line to line capacitance is equal to the c first divided by two okay and that will basically be 0, 0.302 microfarad as simple as that right now let's go ahead and calculate the three phase capacitance of an overhead transmission line now this is where it gets uh, quite interesting now let's consider this is our three phase right so which basically mean we've got C1 here and we've got C2 here, right? So if we want to calculate the three phase capacitance with one meter spacing between these uh, conductors here, we basically have to uh, add these two capacitance. Basically, if this distance and this distance is equal, we basically going to just say to get the capacitance of this line, we must just multiply this capacitance by two because this capacitance and this capacitance they are basically equal it's basically the same thing that we've done here when we calculated for a single phase but now the trick here is that because this is now for a three phase asymmetrical we need to take care of the distance between all three conductors okay considering also the distance between this conductor here and this conductor here okay and having said that the formula to calculate the three phase asymmetrical uh, capacitance of an overhead line is basically equal to 2 pi epsilon divided by the length of de over r and de here being equal to the cubic root of 2d which is basically taking care of the distance between the conductors right now we already talked about this uh, equation here on tutorial one and two basically on tutorial two when we talked about the inductance of an overhead transmission line but now it is important that you note that this uh, particular formula here the way we've uh, solved it here is for symmetrical spacing where we've got this distance and this distance they are basically equal one meter but if you have a situation where the distances are basically not equal you might have 1.5 meters or two meters on the other side then you need to use this particular arrangement to basically get your correct value of de that is a very uh, key point to actually note that here we are basically calculating for symmetrical spacing not asymmetrical spacing right so now we can go ahead and plot in our variables here because we know what is our de and what is our radius here and that basically give us a three phase capacitance of 1 comma 14977 10 to the power negative 11 farad per meter as always we need to multiply this by 50,000 basically 50,000 meters so that we can get the capacitance uh, of these 50 kilometer line so that basically give us an overall capacitance of 0 0.575 microfarad as you can see the three phase capacitance is very much 
close to the uh, pay phase capacitance when calculating between the phase and the neutral and that is basically it for this tutorial thank you guys for watching if you find it useful as always please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to simtech channel until next time cheers